Hi, welcome to Educator.com. My name is Steven Chavria, and today uh, we'll be covering um, web layouts uh, using uh, a couple tools uh, from Adobe. And we let's take a look here. Uh, today we'll be learning um, basically the, the main part, really just the digital, getting the stuff digitally laid out for your website. So as we started going through and started creating, we now want to get this into an actual working environment and get the files ready. Um, Definitely, I'm going to go over how to import the proper way um, and the different file types actually that are used for the web um, that Adobe Photoshop um, will be uh, exporting out. And um, basically, I'll go over just an uh, explanation of what each type does. Uh, there's three different file types, and we'll go into more detail as we start to export these out. Okay. So basically, what we're going to be doing today is going over um, this particular layout. We're going to basically start to, to lay this stuff out and um, get them ready for exporting. And so we're going to start with the blank uh, Photoshop document. And when you go into Photoshop, it's going to open up, it's going to be a template, and then it's going to basically give you um, uh, options to drop down for web, and it's going to be all the specs are going to be there. Right now we're using a 10, uh, uh, 10 by 24 by 768. Um, sheet right now so it's typically standard for a web it's about how wide they are with the monitors getting wider and bigger um, they definitely can handle that uh, type of space or real estate now so basically here we're just going to go through this and we're going to recreate it to kind of give you the idea of this is how we lay this stuff out um, before you go into actual uh, web production okay so now we're going to actually go in and create um, do a fill a color fill in this uh, first layer to kind of give you this effect right here, the background here, this green. So I have my color here. And again, with Photoshop, you kind of have this, uh, this color picker here. And what it does is it basically it allows you to um, put this uh, alphanumeric color in. That's an RGB um, color wheel there. So you'll have your CMYK and your RGB. So here, if I was going to go to only web colors only, which back in the days was really just kind of correct way. Um, not all the monitors had this really um, really high def uh, uh, color in them, so they couldn't pick up all those colors. Well, now the monitors de these days are really high def now, and, and they're just they're almost like televisions, so they can actually pick up more color. So here are the difference here in CMYK. Um, in basically, it's just a reduced down in color. Okay, they, t they take a lot of colors out, so we're we're safe to use um, our other colors here, and. Um, Go ahead and use that fill. It's going to give us a lot more variety and vibrant colors now that the um, web can actually handle that. So here in the tool palette, we actually have all these different um, various tools. And as you click on one, it'll actually um, open up some more. So you'll see me do that from time to time. And here, let's actually select a couple tools here. I'm going to use the paint bucket tool, which um, now that I have my uh, color right over here in this little uh, palette here, I'm just going to go ahead and actually just click once and it actually kind of just drops, uh, fills up that whole uh, area. Okay. Um, the next layer we're going to actually create, what I advise always when you're working your layers too, and, and any type of um, software that you have and it has layers, always remember to lock your layer. It's just a good practice so you're not creating and working on, on a different layer when you don't really mean to. So here Photoshop actually has a little lock layer here. And um, that way I no longer can affect that layer. I'm, I'm just simply working on the new layers. So let's go back and let's check what's next here. Um, we actually have, uh, so I'm going to create some spaces here for um, the header up right up in this area. And then I'm going to actually create, um, we're going to create the navigation and basically put in all this other um, information um, that we had originally laid out in the um, the, the drawing uh, version of this when we first uh, started these projects. Okay, so let's go ahead and start creating that now. And remember, all these sizes are kind of approximate, so like it's just more of the visual um, that you're trying to get out of this. So we're going to go ahead and create this here. And uh, for now, I'm just going to create it um, this all black so I can kind of see where it's at. And I'm going to take this little tool, and this is, this is the rectangle shape tool. So again, any shape that you actually see, if I click and hold, these are all the different shapes that I can actually draw. But I'm just going to use the rectangle. It's all I really need at this point, just to kind of get my um, navigation down. Let me see here. There we go. So there, 
I have this, this uh, black space I can actually see. This is where my, typically my header would go, um, the name of the website or name of uh, the company that you're actually trying to advertise. So from here, I actually used, um, to kind of make this all realistically uh, blend together with color, um, again, from the previous tutorials we went over, just looking from a light to dark, well, there's a gradient tool here. It's a very simple tool. Um, I kind of already preset the colors in here, so we're, let's take a look at that and show you how that actually works to get that little effect. Um, very simple, but very effective if it's used correctly. So I have this color here, and I want to go ahead and affect this tool by using a gradient. Let's see here. So this gradient tool um, is a pretty powerful tool. Um, again, just if you're creating effects and it gives you that light to dark um, or vice versa, depending on which way you actually do this. So if you kind of like drag a certain way, it'll give you this, this motion um, of where the gradient actually lies. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and um, let's see, take this. Um, let's see, delete this one because I don't really need the whole layer. Um, okay, and for this one here, I'm actually just going to draw it um, a gradient, a little tool here. Well, this is basically like a fill tool. And it's going to basically give you like these little... Uh, looks like trail dance, uh, uh, basically to kind of give you a marker of where you're actually affecting. And I can throw anything in within the, those lines and actually it will only drop uh, color or uh, any type of effect into that line. So again, I'm gonna go back to this gradient and create it one more time in here and gives you that effect. So it's only in there. And once I have the color layer there, I'm good. I don't really need this, this black layer to, to do anything. It was just kind of to give you a demonstration of what the shape tool was. But I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and delete that tool. And then um, you always wanna deselect your, your tools here. And on, on a, um, Photoshop, it's your uh, command, D t t uh, command D tool or uh, control D on a, if you're on a PC. Um, so here I got this, this uh, layer here. And so I'm kind of getting a little bit closer to what I'm looking at now. We just gotta pull in the rest of the elements here and, and go that go that route. So let's take a look here at the next layer. So let's work on the navigation, just setting that up to, to ideally see what we really want. Um, and you definitely can always double click on this little um, thing here and it will actually give you um, choice to put a name in. So here this can actually create nav. That way we remember that's the nav. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this other layer here, which we can also name the header, okay? So now with nav, basically I wanna kinda of do the same thing, um, but this time I'll just use the shape. Uh, I really don't need um, anything else. I already know it's just a box at this point. So, oops, let's see here, there we go. So I got this here. Again, approximate size is all you really need. Um, just kind of get the general idea that I'm, I'm definitely going for a horizontal nav at this point. Um, you definitely were drawing a vertical or you had a specific nav that you really wanted to actually have so that people can actually click on it. Totally fine. I'm just doing a basic horizontal nav um, just to kind of give you an idea. Now, this, this little color layer here, I can actually change that um, to what I need. So if I, here I have it, um, I have it this, this blue color here. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that now. If I double click on that, again, it opens my uh, color window and it gives me this, this um, alphanumeric. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, put that in and uh, get this color. So here it's a uh, 5EB2DF. And let's see, it's a little bright there. Let's see, let's tone this down a little bit. And I also can actually go this route too and select these colors. So if you don't really know what colors you actually want, totally fine, it's not a big deal. Just uh, as long as you can kind of pick what you need. So let's actually, I'll just do it that way, give you an idea. Okay. Okay, 
just use that for now. Again, your, your monitors are gonna show this a little bit differently depending on what uh, your color settings are. So don't, you know, if it doesn't match up exactly, it's fine, don't, um, don't worry too much. Um, as you're looking at your monitor, you'll actually be able to test this out. 